Hey there everyone, welcome. I am Rinda Sharma, your host from Idea Asho, the place for all things creative and cutting edge. I have got some fantastic news to share with all of you. Our team has put in a lot of effort to bring you all something amazing, a community outdoor game application. Today, I'm thrilled to walk you all through it quickly. The platform allows users to find playgrounds and groups near their location that share a passion for the same outdoor games. Without further ado, let's dive in and see how it works. First, I will explain the login and the sign up process to users. Both are two distinct processes. The login procedure is for the existing users. For that, they need to enter their email address and password and click on the login button and they will get logged into the app. The app has also made it convenient for the users by allowing them to log in through their Apple, Google or Facebook accounts. If in any case users have forgotten their password, they need to go to the forgot password option enter their registered email address through which they had set up their profile on the app and then click on send email. Then they have to enter the verification code sent on their email address, create a new password, re-enter that password and click on change password. And their password will get changed successfully. Then they have to click on login now. Then they will get back to the login page. They have to enter their email address their new password and click on login and they will get logged into the app. For those who do not have an account, a new one can be created by selecting the sign up option and completing essential details such as email address, name and a new password and then click on the sign up button. Then users have to enter the verification code sent on their registered mobile number and click on confirm. Then the app will lead them to a page. Here they have to then the app will lead them to this page. Here they have to enter essential information such as their name, select their gender, enter their date of birth, country slash region, city, mobile number, and also set a profile picture if they want to. Then they have to allow the app to access their location by clicking on allow location access. And after following all the on-screen instructions, they will get signed up for the app. And that's it. They will get signed up for the app. Welcome to the app's homepage. Here, users have various sections to explore. At the bottom, there are four main segments, namely home, bookings, chats, and profile. Then on the home page, users can dive into the My Community and Teams section where they can join a team to play with. Additionally, the nearby venues section lets users pick the perfect place for their team. Users also have the option to search for a specific place or sport using the search bar. They can also make their search process easier and more specific by selecting sports and dates. By selecting sports and dates. This allows users to find playgrounds and groups tailored to their preferences. Additionally, there is a filter button provided on the home page. If users click on it, a window will appear allowing them to apply filters such as setting the distance, the price range, the ratings, the availability and then clicking on apply to refine their search process. In addition to these features, there is a bell icon located at the top right corner. Clicking on it, will take the users to the notifications section where they can stay updated with notifications and receive important updates. Let me guide the users on how to join a team to play with. 
to get started they need to head to the my community and teams section clicking on this will direct them to the next page here they can select the sport they'd like to play whether it's cricket or football or volleyball users have a variety of options to choose from once users have chosen their sport the app will display a list of available coaching teams they can join. These teams offer options on different skill levels from beginners to those on an intermediate level. And when users click on a team, they will see a list of its members. Users have the choice to follow these members and view their profiles. Clicking on view profile provides more details including members, number of followers and the number of people they are following. Additionally, users can send messages and engage with them and this way users can easily connect with potential teammates. Users can also save the profile of a team member to review later by clicking on this button. Once the users are back on this page, if they are interested in a team, they can simply click on the join the team option. This will guide them to the next page where they need to click on book now. Subsequently, they will be directed to the review page which displays the booking, fee and tax details. Here, users can also enter a promo code if they have one and then click on apply. After confirming all the necessary details and applying the promo code, they should click on proceed. Next, they will be prompted to select their preferred payment mode, whether MasterCard or Visa card, they also have the choice to add a new card if needed. If the users would click on add new card, they have to enter their card details such as the cardholder's name, the account number, the month and the year as well as the CBB and then click on add. And once the payment mode is selected, they can click on pay now. Following this step, their payment will be successfully confirmed and they will receive a payment confirmation via email. And that's it. They are all set to enjoy their gaming experience with the team. Now, let me guide users on how to book a venue or playground for their playtime. To do this, they need to navigate to the nearby venues section and pick a venue that catches their interest. Here, they will discover information such as opening hours, amenities and facilities and if they would scroll down, they would also find the location details and cost per person. After reviewing all the details, users can click on proceed. This action will lead them to a subsequent page where they will need to specify the court number and choose a suitable time slot. Once they have entered these details, the next step is to hit the book now option. Afterward, the app will guide them to the review page where all the booking, fee and tax details will be clearly listed. Users also have the option to enter a promo code if they have one and then click on apply. Following this, users will need to click on the proceed option. Next, they will be prompted to select their preferred payment mode, whether MasterCard or Visa card. They also have the choice to add a new card if needed. If the users would click on add new card, they have to enter their card details such as the cardholder's name, the account number, the month and the year as well as the CBB and then click on add. And once the payment mode is selected, they can click on pay now. Following this step, their payment will be successfully confirmed and they will receive a payment confirmation via email. And that's it. They are all set to enjoy their gaming experience with the team. From the home page, users can access the profile section by clicking on the button given at the right side towards the end. 
Here, they will find their name, email address and profile picture if set. For those who wish to make changes, the edit button provides the option to modify these details. Upon clicking edit, the app will direct them to a page where they can adjust the information according to their preferences. After making the changes, the users can click on save. This page also offers the choice to change their password. This page also offers the choice to This page also offers the choice to change their This page also offers the choice to change their password. If the users would click on it, the app will direct them to a page where they have to enter their old password, create a new password, re-enter that new password and click on save. And their new pass and their password will be changed successfully. And their password will be changed successfully. And their password will be changed successfully. In the profile section, users would encounter other distinct segments. The first is loyalty points. If users click on it, they can enter a gift code and then click on add to earn loyalty points. The subsequent section is the payment methods section. Here, users can choose their preferred mode of payment. Through the invite friends section, users can easily share the app's link with their friends via platforms such as WhatsApp, Twitter and Facebook. Users can navigate to the help section to access important documents like the terms and conditions, privacy policy, and about us information. For those who want to provide feedback, there is an option to rate the app. Clicking on this will prompt a window to appear, allowing users to rate the app on a five star scale and provide optional feedback. Afterward, users can click rate us to submit their rating or they can choose to skip if they prefer not to rate at the moment. There is also the option of log out given at the end. If users wish to log out, they can click on this button and the app will get them back on the login page. And that's it. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Apart from this, if you are interested in developing a customized community outdoor game application, then our experienced team of app developers is ready to bring your vision to life and create a solution that sets your business apart in this rapidly evolving market. Connect with us through the contact details mentioned in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time.